Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Tango Talk. So today, we'll be discussing Pantheon, Rise of the Fallen. And quite a lot has occurred since our last video. We've had some great announcements, beans, and some recent news that we're going to touch on today where we discuss the latest live stream from Pantheon Rise of the Fallen that was done on Co Carnage's channel. My dudes, let's dive right in. So some of the big news that's come out with Pantheon Rise of the Fallen lately is that they have secured $2.4 million in funding from investors, including Mr. Co Carnage himself, who is now considered an actual investor, not just a big old fan like the rest of us. And I got to admit, I'm rather neutral to the news. Um, I certainly have nothing against Co. He's an awesome sauce kind of guy. And I love that Pantheon has secured more funding and that they are able to hire more people and do more things. And CEO Chris Rowan doubled down on the no cash shop, no pay to win model, saying that they have had ample opportunity to, quote, sell out, end quote, his words, and they have not. And this bodes well for the future. And if they've stuck to the commitment so far, it is likely that they will continue to do so. This funding will help them hire new people, of which they've already done so. They've hired new artists, 3D artists, animators, and a man by the name of Steve Clover, who happens to be the co-creator of EverQuest and a programmer, which is awesome. And I'm very happy to hear about that. that there is another veteran of the MMO genre that he helped create the MMO that got me into MMOs and that he can bring that vision to Pantheon Rise of the Fallen and make it the great game we all hope it will be. Also announced during this stream, there will be more pre-alpha sessions this year, which I'm very happy to hear. And also, big announcement from Co Carnage himself, he will be streaming the pre-alpha on his channel this September. Now, that could change, he even said so, but so far the plans are for him to stream the pre-alpha and I cannot wait. It's gonna be really good to see how the game actually functions under a true test of will with a with an actual player who will try to play slash break the game in a way that we're all wanting to do now i don't know if anybody else will be able to stream their pre-alpha experience but something else that was announced is that when alpha does come out which is going to be a while we will most likely be able to stream it. I don't know if everybody's going to be able to stream it or if they're going to select certain people. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I hope that I can stream the alpha of this game for you guys. That would be absolutely baller. I'm going to tell you right now, I have been drooling over the Enchanter class and exactly what it's going to mean for the holy quadernity slash trinity that they're going for, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. In fact, I'll probably be making another Enchanter video relatively soon talking about mind control and what kind of things I hope to see as far as innovation for charm and crowd control effects as far as the Enchanter is concerned. And hopefully we can dive into that in a video coming real soon. Some other really cool things that were dropped in this stream by Joppa himself was stressing about a lot of mechanics from soloing to horizontal advancement and how spawns will work including conditions for spawn time and introducing a new system called the morph system where the placeholder for a spawn has to remain up for X amount of time and it will morph into the mob that you want it to be. I don't really know how this is going to work. He kind of just dropped it in there and it was pretty cool. So I thought I'd mention it. Now, if you want to know more about this or get any more details from this specifically, I highly recommend that you watch the Co-Carnage stream. There's a lot of good stuff in this stream where they cover a lot of the topics that's already been covered in other live streams, but in a broader form by directly answering questions from Co Carnage's chat. So again, I cannot recommend enough that you check out this live stream. And I will post a link directly in the description down below, as well as a link to Pantheon's pledge page where you can pick up the newest pledge Scion of the Black Rose. Now, from what was said, it's supposed to be an intermediate between the VIP and the non-VIP, but it gives you a bunch of extra access, including access to the pre-alpha. Now, as a disclaimer, I am not associated with Pantheon Rise of the Fallen or Visionary Realms at all. I am just an ultra mega nerd who loves the vision that Visionary Realms puts out for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. And I hope you can join us in that vision and see this game through to the end. 
So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for being here and chilling with me here at the Tango Talks. I hope to see you guys in our next video. And remember to like and subscribe and do all the things that the algorithm gods demands of us. Now, if you want to catch my live streams, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash tango hotel. Twitch.tv slash tango hotel. Live stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at noon Central Standard Time. Smash my face against hard walls for your viewing pleasure. So until next time, my dudes, it has been a pleasure and an honor. And I'll see you then. Peace out.